We all know how to render a video, but we don't quite know exactly how it happens. So to sum it all up, you have two ways you can render a video. The first way is with CPU, which means you use your processor to render the video out, or you can use your graphics card. Both ways work just as well. Now, if you don't know what CUDA is and you're new to CUDA, it is a program which is created by NVIDIA and it is pretty much designed to tell the hardware components how exactly to render the video and how to use all the cores. So if you're someone who has a much faster graphics card or has better components, it will help out a lot because rather than just rendering with a few cores or just the normal way it would do it, it will get all the components involved and it will render the video properly. Now, this isn't for every computer. If you are with AMD or your machine doesn't support CUDA, then you won't be able to do this. First of all, you want to have your video inside your timeline so you can go into the render settings, go to options, go to preferences, and then once you get to here, you want to go to video. And the first one you want to make sure is GPU acceleration of video processing is set to your graphics card. Press apply. What you want to do next is you want to go back to options, go down to preferences, but instead of clicking it as you would, you want to hold control and shift and then press on it. What this will do is it will open a hidden tab, which is called internal. And in here, you pretty much want to type in GPU and it will come up with allow GPU rendering. By default, when you first install Sony Vegas, it will set it to false. So pretty much all you want to do is you want to double click on here and in capital letters type in true, T-R-U-E. And once you've done that, you press apply, leave the default on false. You could change it to true, but you don't really need to just apply it, press OK. And now when we go into the render setting, so if you double click on this, it will create a loop region. If you don't know what loop region is, it basically renders the clips only inside here. Go to file, render as. Once you are in this screen, you want to select your template, go to customize template. And now if you look in your render settings, you'll notice that the encode mode is now visible and you can see it and you have the option to change it. But what you want to do is you want to go to system and you want to check GPU. This will pretty much scan the system and see if it is compatible with CUDA. If it is, go back to video and set it to render using CUDA if available. And that is pretty much it. Now when you render the video, it will hopefully look much better in quality because your hardware is using more components to put your video together and it can help out a lot, especially with videos that have a lot of effects or videos that are really long. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If it wasn't, let me know and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.